shoot. I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC and in today's video we're going to be looking at the North Face Borealis. Come on me bruv! Come on! <sighs> Sorry about that. This is my North Face Borealis. Now just from clarification there are two types of North Face Borealis. There's this one which is the newer version that North Face released a few years back and then there's also the North Face Borealis Classic, which is the original one that they released many, many moons ago. Because when they made the new version, a lot of the, the specifications, a lot of it, it's very similar. Um, there's not that much between the two bags. Maybe aesthetically, there's, there's different places where different things have been put. Um, but there was still a quite a high demand for the Classic. So they continue to make the two side by side. So you've got the legacy version and you've, you've got this new version. So when I'm talking about this one, if you check the website, I'll also put some affiliate links in the bottom. If you use those affiliate links, they will help me to continue to grow my channel and have different products on there. So that would be great. But if you're just looking on the North Face website, you'll be able to see the differences between the two. Colors wise, you'll be able to see that there are a lot of different colors for these bags. They really are great for different colors. Um, some of the colors are more generic. You'll find that there are um, unisex colors, if you want to call them that. Uh, blacks, grays, browns. And then there are some other colors that are probably more, you could say maybe towards uh, a masculine or, or more towards a, a, a feminine um, eye, I don't know. Um, but hey, there's quite a cute few on there. That's like a nice purple one with some pink zips. I thought that was quite nice. I chose this one myself because I wanted to be seen. This isn't a gray bag. I wanted to make sure when I'm out on the field, no, when I'm away with business, um, that people can see me. I wanted to make sure that if a lot of colleagues know that I have this bag, it really does stand out so that they can say, hey, there's the Morlander, and they'll know it's me. Also, when I'm, when I'm out with the kids, I want to make sure there's not a lot of people that have a bag similar to this colour. They see the bag, they know it's me, and they'll come and find me if they've, uh, they've had some difficulties. But there are lots and lots of different colours. The material around the bag, there's lots of different types of material. This isn't your mill spec backpack. It's got molly. Kind of, it's just got some loops that you can attach things to if you're out in the countryside. Um, this this is your every day-to-day -day, uh, consumer style backpack or rucksack with it, whichever one you call it. So there's there's a different blend of different materials. It ranges from a 210D Cordura through to a 200D nylon, uh, a 340D ripstop polyester and a 600D ripstop polyester as well. But they've been very clever in how they've done it. The bag comes in at just over a kilogram. If you look on the website, I think it's a, it's 1.05 kilograms for the whole bag dry with nothing in it. But they've, they've put, they've, they've been very clever with it actually. They've been very, very clever. So where you get those stress points, a lot where the stitching is, at the top here where this grab handle is, which is bomb proof, um, all around the bag, they've been very clever in making sure that the stress points have got the tough material and then the other sections, which don't really take as much of a beating, have got the, the, the more lighter material. But even then, I mean, this is a 600D ripstop um, polyester. It, it does take some beating, especially when you're going through security at airports. You, you, they're, and they're there for a reason, but they can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes. So we'll take a bit of a tour around the outside of the bag, then we'll have a look at the inside, and then last, we'll, I'll have a look at the uh, the suspension system. You know, it's, it's, it's fairly standard. So starting on the sides, we've got two um, water bottle sashes. Personally, for me, I find this really useful. I'm left-handed, so I take my rucksack off, swing it round to go for the bottle. A lot of rucksacks, a lot of backpacks, it's on the opposite side. They're designed mainly to be used by people that are right-handed and then on this side there's something different on there. So it's really great that there's one on both sides. Also useful because you've got that modularity as well. For the rucksacks where you've got them just on one side, the other side might have some molly attachments or maybe just something different on this side. It means that with the little cinching straps for the compression, 
if you've got something that you want to put in there, actually it's probably better to show you this side. If you've got something that you want to put in there that's larger, this is a one litre container. You can fit a two litre in here. The stretchy material on the side, this elastic, you can, hopefully you can see there, there's, there's a hell of, oh God, my face, hell of a lot of room. So if you had a two litre bottle and you wanted to put it in there, cinch it tight, it'll mean, mean that, that it doesn't rattle around. Maybe not so good in, a, in an urban environment, but if you're out and about in the countryside and you've got something in there, I've put walking poles in here, it stops them from moving around. I've also on days when I've been out into the countryside and I've wanted to make sure that my, um, my tripod keeps safe. The smaller tripod that I've got fits perfectly in, you cinch it round and make sure that that's nice and tight. Sorry, there's quite a few flies around here today. It's been quite nice this year in, uh, in the UK. The sunny weather has definitely brought out some of the little flies. Where was I? Cinch straps. One on each side, as you generally expect. You can also release them with the uh, buckles. They've been clever with these as well. So uh, I'm guessing they've done this on purpose to make sure that you can fit stuff in. But also it's, cinch, it's, it's attached to the front with this little gusset. So when it pulls the bag, instead of Put in, pulling the bags at the zips to then pull it back and you've still got this front section that can move around it pulls the whole front section back so that when it's empty you can keep it nice and tight against yourself but also when it's full it will keep everything in there nice and secure um, bit of bungee cord on the front you can put stuff in I've used that in the past when I've got a, a spare jacket or something I've gone to somewhere where I didn't realise it was going to be so hot I can take that off and drop it in there. Um, I've never really used these. I guess I could put a carabiner on there. If I was out walking, uh, I could put a carabiner and uh, a drink maybe, but it's style over substance, but it's kind of useful. Front pocket. Oh, dog walkers, responsible dog walkers always carry poo bags. Fleece lines. Now you'll find me harping on quite a lot about fleece lining and North Face really has gone that extra mile for protection on this. The fleece lining in here is really nice plush fleece lining. The pocket is a good 15 centimetres wide, which that's about 6 inches, 7 inches. You can put your hand right in there, you can see just how big that goes. I've got my hand right out now, I've got a 9 inch span and it goes down as deep as my wrist. So you can put a lot in, throw your glasses in there, you're not going to worry about your glasses getting scratched. You can put your keys in there and everything as well because it's the pocket on the front that's the easiest one to get to. If you take your shoulder strap up, swing it round, you can open that and you can get to it straight away. Not a double zipper, getting back to that left handed kind of thing, when I open it it'll open up that way and the stuff might fall out. Left, right handed person might open it that way and the stuff stays in there. Not a big deal, not a, you know, didn't stop me from not getting the bag, but it's just something. YKK zippers, they've all got a little bit of cord on there and a nice little, little thing that you can grip on. So that if you are wearing gloves, you can grab hold of that and you can pull it open really easy. You can also pull it at the top, pull it down, it just pops straight open. YKK zippers, as you all know, excellent zippers. The, the zippers on this bag have never got stuck. Although I've just, there you go, spoiled the surprise. Now I'm showing you what's in there. Second bag, pocket. When you pull these zips down, they do get caught by the con compression straps. Um, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I find though, a lot of pointing in today's video. It is quite useful. The bag comes down, the, the front flap comes down to roughly halfway. But just a little pro tip, a lot of European cities unfortunately have a lot of pickpocketing problems. It's just unfortunate, um, but there's a lot of pickpocketing. There's also a lot of people getting into bags. So what you can do is cinch that compression strap tight bring both of the zips, you can do it for this front zip as well, bring them so that they're underneath this. So in order to then get into the bag, there's also a little gusset which makes means that you can push it into there. Then in order to get into the bag, they're either gonna have to loosen this or pop it open, which hopefully you'll feel. And then 
have to get into that pocket a little bit. Just a little tip again, working in medcoms, we get to luckily travel the world to do some really top secret stuff. Back to North Face using their intelligence with this bag. The fleece lined bag, that w the fleece lined pocket that was here also has lining. That means that whatever's in here has got the fleece lining plus this extra lining to make sure that whatever is in here isn't going to damage that and vice versa. A lot of bags, you know the bags, you probably all had one where you've got a pocket on the front but the pocket on the front is still there, you can move it, you can feel it moving around. North Face have gone that extra mile to make sure that's not there. You can also see from the stitching, it's really good high quality stitching. So in the front itself, at the very front, you've got a quite a large section that you can chuck a lot of stuff into. I carry all of my um, cables and things like that from my laptop in a, in a dry bag just to make sure that it's, it's all together, but it's also not going to get wet if I got caught out in the rain. But I've put a jacket in there. You can, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's big. Then on the front, You've got a section that you can you can put you can organise stuff in. You've got two pockets that are mesh, so you can see what's in there. A couple of pockets that I mean, these are a little bit deeper. There's just a, a standard compass. Leatherman fits in, but also getting back. I told you I was going to a lot of pointing. I told you I was going to go hop on about all these the uh, the fleece lined. We've got another fleece lined pocket which fits perfectly. Even some of the bigger mobile phones that we've got nowadays, um, you can fit your phablet, whatever they call them. You can fit that in there, push it in. You're not gonna have to worry that it's gonna get scratched on anything on the inside. Moving back a little bit further, another really nice padded. So whatever's in the front, there's an extra layer of padding between this and this zip pocket, which I missed. Zip pocket, key stay. Again, fit more cables, SD cards, that sort of stuff in there. But this is all padded again, so if you have got your keys in there and your bag does take a knock, if you've got a tablet in here and it's facing forward, which would be the best way because there's your fleece lining, you're not going to get any impact. You're going to get less impact and you're not going to have to worry on scratching. Mine's an 8-inch tablet. Just fits in from the side. If this wasn't in its uh, in its case, that would fit in perfectly. So if that's a gauge on the width of your tablet, it's perfect. You can fit your iPads. Uh, I'm not sure how big the larger iPads are, but you could probably fit that in there as well. And depth wise, there you go. That's the eight inches, and there's still still that much on top of it. Fits in perfectly. And again, with that fleece lining. Whatever you put in there, you, you're going to know it's not going to get scratched. Organise a section, you can put pens in. If it's something large that you want to put in there, you can, uh, you can again, pass it through that to make it a little bit more secure. And then you've got another fleece line pocket. This one goes all the way down to the bottom, the same depth of this one. You might not be able to see this on the video. Hopefully you can see there. There is the bottom of the fleece line pocket, which is... A lot of hand gestures in this one as well today. So that's a good 10, 12 centimetres off the bottom of the bag. North Face using their intelligence, designing a bag that is going to make sure that whatever's in it doesn't get damaged. If this does get dropped, there's some clearance between the bottom of the bag and your valuables inside. Moving on to the back, again, YKK zippers, different size YKK zippers. These are those nice, big, fat, meaty ones pull it down pull straight open in that instance there you go you can see how quickly i can get into my, my stuff other ones again padding between the different sections lots of nice padding i've got you know bag to put over the top of it something to make some notes first aid kits more of like a scratchy boo boo kind of first aid kit but this is where the 28 liters comes in there's a lot that you can fit in here I've had three or four two litre bottles in here. Um, that was a very hot day, we needed a lot to drink. Um, I've had, on occasions where I've gone to a country and I've not known how hot it is before I've gone or I've realized that it's a lot colder than I thought. You can put in 
three or four different coats into here, different layers, and they, they all fit in perfectly. Plus, with your cinching straps and your compression straps, when it's all in there, one thing I forgot to mention is this is perfect for carrying um, on a plane. It fits under the seat, it fits in under the seat in front of you, and it fits under the storage above. So if you're having difficulties or you're worried about this being your FA, FSA, FAA, I forget what it is, I'll put it down on the, uh, on the thing. Um, this definitely fits and you can take this on, on carry-on. When it's big, cinch those down, it fits. They all have that like, weird little box thing you have to put it into. It fits perfectly. Again, padded, fleece-lined laptop pocket. This laptop pocket is a 15-inch laptop pocket. It fits, as you'd expect, 15-inch laptops or less than that. I have tried to see if I can get a 17 inch laptop in there. Unfortunately, it definitely doesn't fit. My 15 inch laptop here, there's, there's, you know, there's a bit of clearance on each side. So there's enough that it, I mean, it, it doesn't move around. I've never had this in there and thought, well, that doesn't feel secure. But there's some leeway if you want to fit a laptop in there. You could maybe put um, a tablet in front of it. Or if you, if, you, if you use this for school or college, you can put your laptop in there. Maybe a couple of case books or workbooks. And it'll, it, it, it will all fit. This is my NT6001. You can Google that. You can try and find it. You won't be able to try and find it. The Ministry of Defence gave me this. Um, because of uh, because of my hard work in the medcoms, um, NT stands for Ninja Tears because that's what this is powered by. This is tactical, super strong. I don't even need the fleece lining with this because you know it's abrasion resistant. The material for this is just like space age. Inside hook and loop tab so that you can put a hydration system in there. And it's well, if you can fit a 15 inch laptop, you can probably fit up to a, a, a three litre hydration system in there easily. Hydration hose comes out the top and fits at the back. I also like the placing of this a lot of again getting back to that left handed, right handed, or you being able to, it's just a choice. You then have the choice that you can use it the way that you want to. It comes out the back, and then you can decide which sides it goes down, and you've got some little hoot loops there that you can you can attach it to. You find that a lot of bags it comes out the right hand dominant side, whereas this one it's smack bang in the middle. You don't have to worry. So that's the inside. On the top. Really good stitching, everything's reinforced. There isn't a box stitch on this because it goes inside the bag. I've never checked actually. No, so when it's inside the bag, the material doesn't go through and it's not box stitched inside. But what it is stitched is you've got double, uh, triple stitch in there to make sure that it, it, it's on tight. Um, but the, the grab handle itself, it's got some webbing on the top and then underneath they use the same foam that they use in the suspension system. They also use the same mesh uh, material on there. So if you're worried about grabbing it when you've got wet hands, if you've got wet hands, maybe, weird, um, it's not, it's not going to fall out. It's a really good grab handle. You can put a lot in this bag, and I've never gone to this bag with a lot in it, a lot of weight in it, and lifted it up and thought, that's not going to, it's not going to hold it, it's going to give way. I've never thought that. It's, it's on there, and it's on there fast. Coming on to the uh, home stretch, back panel is the flex vent system. You've got this really nice plush padding, and then on top of that, there's um, like a vented mesh, which is there to help to wick away uh, any moisture. As you come down the middle, the spine section, there's quite a large gap. If you can see this, I mean, that's a good one and a half centimeters, maybe half an inch. You can get a nice cool air in there and also when you get down to the uh, the mid lumbar section this bit goes across my shoulders and then my, my lats this bit hey fits the love handles perfectly but then again you've just got some more side bits so that when the air is coming through it, it, it can move away on the sections that, that will probably be the most hottest and when we're thinking about sweating a lot of us you know it's, it's generally in the lower back it's great I've had a lot in this bag I've been in some very hot countries. I've got to uh, where I'm supposed to be working. My shirt's a bit wet because I've been sweating, but I've not had to worry because my back hasn't been that wet. 
Now wearing the bag, I am 5'10", 178 centimetres, whatever that is. Um, I weigh 14 stone, about 90 kilos, 42 inch chest. So, you know, it's it fits nicely. It, it fits really well. You can change the length of the straps. You can change, it's got a sternum strap, which you can cinch tighter if you want to make sure it's it's not moving around. You can have a good shape. I've not got the compression straps on the side, so it's, it's moving around a little bit, but it fits really well. The straps are contoured to the shoulders, so they come, I'll pull it a little bit tighter, a bit, but they come, uh, come around the shoulders onto the chest, and then they divert round so that they go underneath your armpits, which again, it, it, it just it's just comfortable when you've got it on. You know you've got it on, you feel that it's there, but it's not, it's not a hindrance to movement. Not again, not so much in an urban environment, but when you're out and about, you're doing a bit of volunteering, climbing, or whatever, it's it, it, it doesn't feel like it's stopping any range of movement at all. When you get into the middle, you feel the pinch, but yeah, it's it's it's, it's good for that. Sternum strap uses their uh, their own little sternum strap, it's got a whistle on there if you need it. It's also got the little bungee bit at the back as well, so that when you are moving around, um, again, it, it, it doesn't pinch, it doesn't restrict any movement at all. The sternum straps themselves are on these little rails, so depending on your height, depending on your build, you can move those around to make sure that it's in the, the best position. They're stiff, but I think that's a good thing. But they're also loose enough that I find sometimes that I've got them in the wrong position. If my wife's been wearing this and it rides a little higher over her breasts. Um, if, if she's been wearing it and then I put it on and I've not noticed that it's changed. After a bit of walking, after a little bit of, a little bit of moving around, you'll, have, you'll notice that by itself it will move itself into the position that fits best. I don't know if North Face designed it to do that. If they did, well done North Face. If they didn't... It's just a cracking bag. Um, where was it? Waist strap. Waist strap is functional. It's not a padded waist strap. It doesn't really take much of the weight off. As you can see, it rides just above my belt in the in the small of my back, which is perfect height. Obviously, you can adjust that. Um, yeah. It's there if you need it. It's, yeah, it's there. Shoulder pads use the same foam, the foam that's in the back, um, the shoulder strap, sorry. They use the same foam that's in there. Um, a bit of a North Face style over substance thing. Is it a bit of a show off thing? It probably is, but if you can see here, there's uh, like a meshing and that meshing shows you the construction of the foam pads underneath the sh that, that are built into the shoulder strap. I like that. Do I go around saying, hey, check out what's in my shoulder straps? No. Do I worry that this material isn't as strong as the other material that's on there? Yeah, a little bit. Am I going to be taking this into the field and, you know, doing some gangster stuff? Probably not, but on a bag that I want to make sure that I can keep for as long as possible, I trust that when I felt this bag, that the stuff that was in it, the material, everything that, that holds this bag together, is is good quality material. Um, so yeah, it's not like a, a thing that would have stopped me from but from buying it, but it's a, it's a strange thing that's there. Last little bit, a couple of loops that you can put stuff onto. You've got, if you did have that hydration bladder in there and you've, you've got the, uh, the tube that comes over, you can put that in and you can put it on either side. So thanks for watching. This was my video on the North Face Borealis. As I mentioned, we've got some links in the description below. Please share. <laughs> I'm trying to build this channel, trying to get some subscribers. Um, the more people that come into contact with it, the better. The more people, the the, uh, the larger the moorlander community we can we can help to build. 
share, like, subscribe. Stay safe, stay Morlander, stay EDC. Oh, 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 oh,